Hello there and welcome to another tutorial from AKCP. Uh, right now we're going to have a look at the uh, basic setup of a camera to the security probe. So the first thing we need to do uh, on the summary page is go to the camera settings on the left hand side and when we twirl down that list you'll see that we have a number of options available to us. Now the first one is the viewing options. We have ActiveX, Applet and JavaScript. Below that we have the display options which is video 1 through to video 4. Now if you've already got your cameras connected to the unit like I have you'll notice that you can't select any of these options at present and that's because you need to actually do the basic setup of the camera. So in order to do that we're going to go to the settings tab and click there and this takes us to our uh, home page of the settings tab and we're going to select the option on the left which says camera. Okay and first of all the first thing we need to do is change it from off to on and then uh, we can go ahead and click save. Okay now again you'll see the video uh, labeled vi video 1 through to video 4 and within these fields you can actually uh, change the V1, V2, you can delete it and type in the name of your camera. Um, however what I like to do because uh, you might not have four cameras connected is before you do anything we're going to go to the advanced camera options and here we are inside our advanced camera options. Now within it here you can see that from video 1 to video 3 we don't have any signal being uh, detected but on video 4 you can see that we have a camera selected so you make sure that you have it enabled uh, then you have the second option here which is rotate 180 degrees now the reason I have mine selected is because I'm currently using for this demonstration an AKCP ceiling mounted camera uh, but it's upside down on my desk so I selected uh, rotate it 180 degrees so we get the correct viewing uh, angle also uh, if you have the microf a microphone uh, there in the camera you can select enable audio and make sure that you have the uh, video conf option also selected um, before we go ahead and click save I'm just going to very quickly talk about the uh, JPEG Q factor uh, now this does exactly what the sentence says below uh, the higher that you uh, have this number in this box right here you will get better quality uh, pictures uh, as you lower this number uh, you'll get a lower quality picture but the uh, it will be a faster streaming video I normally have mine set anywhere between 50 and 70 uh, it tends to be uh, fairly good uh, so I'll go right ahead now and click save okay so we've uh, we've got our camera uh, selected at this point because we know that we are on uh, video 4 you can go back to the camera options you can go to your video 4 and change that for something a little bit more imaginative so we'll have camera in office uh, we'll keep the image size as 320 by uh, 240 and we'll click save okay so that's the basic setup of the camera all we need to do now is actually be able to view it so we're going to go back to the summary page and here we are and you'll see now that on the display options video 1 2 and 3 uh, you still can't select those, they're still unavailable but video 4 we're now able to tick this box so we're going to go right ahead and click in the video 4 option okay and then it's just asking me for my administrator password and press login and there you go there's our camera 4 um, viewing on the screen very very nicely um, now in the next tutorial we're going to have a look at moving the camera and how about how you go about doing that with the pan tilt and zoom control but for now this was the uh, basic setup of a camera i hope you found this tutorial helpful